So, what else do we have going on here? The one that didn't seem like it had anyone on it was CYG Net, and that's running Sun OS. So if we could find a Sun OS kit, then we could actually get that system. So uh, let's uh, hop into our wire dialer again and see if we can find a BBS system. And 808 Hawaii. No carrier. No carrier. Basically that means that there's no modem answering the phone. Something with a fast connection would be nice. 9600, yeah. That's good. That's really good. Saloon, that sounds like a BBS. All right, so I'm gonna copy this phone number just in case it's useful. The Silicon Saloon, BBS in Honolulu. In as a guest. All right, files area. This has an ATT kit, a DYNIX kit, and a VMS kit. on the VMS kit and we can do that because we have X modem set up in the background it's kind of complicated to be able to move files back and forth across phone lines X modem made that a lot easier Looks like there's also a list of BBSs up there too. File number four. A bunch of other random things too. Hmm. We'll have to take some time and start looking at some of the more random things once we get ourselves a little bit more established. But for right now, we sort of have goals. <laughs> All right, drop back down to our system here. VMS. Was there any VMS systems? There was not. Let's uh, DF, how much file space do we have? We have 431K left. And the one that we're really sort of after is a Sun OS kit. So let's um, dial the BBS we were just in. Hop back in there. Go back into the files section and check out the file number four. Gives us a nice list of BBSs that we can try out. So what do we have here? 
Something hackerish would be nice. Dark side. <laughs> we'll grab that and uh, drop in out of here. And then we'll dial up the dark side VBS. And this should just let us in as a guest because we're just looking to leech some files. Let's see if they've got our sun kit. Oh my, look at that. A mill kit. IBM kit. And an Ultrix kit. Not really what we're looking for, but uh, they do have a BBS list as well. So let's see. Outland. That looks like fun. Grab that number. Drop back down to our prompt. We'll dial this BBS. Fidonet. <laughs> you guys recognize any of these uh, BBSs yet? Okay. Here's that. Again, we'll just use a guest account. See what files. Hopefully we can find a Sun OS kit. This one has a BSD account creation tool. Xenix kit. And an Ultrix account creation. And luckily for us also a BBS list. So we can continue hopping along here the dark tower that sounds like a fun place I wonder how much the long distance is 10 cents a minute we haven't done any international calling have we but those calls to Hawaii were expensive. <laughs> Come on, Sun OS kit. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, look. Some more of these. PC Heaven, Vaudeville, that's funny. Let's go check out Vaudeville. BBS is also have games, but you know, this this is no uh, it's no goofing around here. busy someone's on the line ATT kit System 5 kit and a mill account creation tool. Alright. Not what we need today. wonder if we're going to get lucky here. The caverns. U.S. Robotics. Oops. 
hop back in and use the guest account appropriately. Larry Cody. Don't worry, Larry. We won't hurt your system. Scenix kit, mock kit, and an HP UX account creation tool. Phil's house. <laughs> Beehive. Dark Forest. Maybe Phil's got stuff that will help us. Phoenix, Sun OS kit, there we go, 18, hopefully we've got enough room for it, yeah I think we do. So like I was saying, you need to have a OS specific kit that prepares the machine for the root kit. Okay, we can drop down out of there. So now we've got SunOS Kit EXE and CYG Net is where we want. So you gotta push this up there. Hopefully there's enough room for it and for our root kit exe. If not, we'll sort of have to run one and then run the other. So as this finishes, we'll put up the next one. Okay. hop up into a terminal on that system. Okay. 
So check the processes here. No one's running anything. Odd. that we've now got the Sun OS kit. And now we need to run You can see our prompt there has turned to a, uh, <clears throat> well, it's got many different names, but a pound symbol. So now we're in a root shell. And that shows up as root as the program that we're running. We've got access to kill proc here, and we can use that to kill other people's processes if they come into the system. So that's useful. All right, but, so now we're back down to our main prompt on this machine. We can always bump up by using super user, SU. So we're there, and then we can drop back down to our home machine and now we have root on CYG net and you can see that it's got an exclamation point instead of an asterisk so let's uh, hop back in there at the motto of the day. What shall we set it to? Hmm. How do we set it? Set. Five lines of text, enter a blank line to end. drop out of here and our log back into there we should get our motto of the day when we log in and it should say whisker has root here message from whisker you're on TV all right guys so if you're uh, logged into um, telehack you can always uh, See if you can get onto CYG net and see if anyone has taken root back from me yet. <laughs>
We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.